Let's begin with why teachers teach. I say we're there for the kids, to put them in situations that develop a range of skills. Rolling, one, two, three. Maybe Virgil will just have to see If Rafi comes down on me Kids everywhere just have to know What to do on the next Where trust and respect is built into the system Students practice these virtues every day This is your team and you are their coach It's the journey that students will remember Not test scores but you must prioritize what's important. Help make students and their parents aware of what goes on in a lesson. Understanding more about what teachers do and how students learn invites both parties into the learning process. That's why things like evaluation, subject integration, time management, and page references are important. Plan to show off what you and your students do with cap notes, pathfinder, game cards, and board notes. Share your learning processes with others because they are amazing. Teach students how to evaluate. Evaluation ranks high in Bloom's taxonomy, just behind creativity in terms of developing useful skills. Students evaluate the overall lesson with a square and a circle represents their personal satisfaction level. We evaluate to improve, not criticize, to discover our natural likes and dislikes, which helps uncover our gifts and talents. Completing cap notes is a daily exercise in self-awareness to help students answer the question, who are you? Who are you and how you will serve others is an important part of school. Create a lesson evaluation rubric with your students. Include them in the process. Make their evaluations count. More about that later. As teachers, we have to learn to do things quickly, to plan ahead and see connections, to create something out of nothing. That's the magic of teaching. My students created puppet plays. We did. 23 shows over a week in June, something they'll never forget. The next year we switched to a, a digital art project when our class size became too big for a puppet play. You can do similar projects when you integrate subjects now made much easier with AI. Look for complementary subjects, language arts and social, math and science. Then bring in a non-core subject like computer, art or drama. When students see a relationship amongst subject areas, they can see the big picture better. I personally find the label of core and non-core disrespectful to the creative class, but that's just me. Timelines are different on parents' and players' cap notes. Once again, students are exercising their brain, forcing them to estimate and associate time with activities. This is also important for teachers when they plan their lessons. The timeline goes hand in hand with process symbols. Match them with the amount of time invested in the activity. Remember, students don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. Cap notes were born before all this digital content was available. Knowledge was mined from textbooks mostly. The page reference number referred students back to the textbook page associated with the lesson. Now the page reference number can also be used to refer to other pages in their cap notes. This concludes our introduction to the things within a single cap note. Now let's look at the graphic pages in cap notes.